I'm not exactly sure where this FedEx package came from. If anybody out there can translate that for me, please let me know. But I got this interesting FedEx bag, and well, it's got an interesting something in it. Let's open up this bag within a bag, and let's see what we've got. Okay, on first impression, this doesn't really tell me much. Is there anything else in the bag? Nope, doesn't look like it. So on this episode of Pocket Watch Time, we're going to be looking at a little interesting invention that my wife actually found on Etsy. Pocket watch fan. Pocket watch time. I've got loads of pocket watches. I collect pocket watches. Welcome to another episode of Pocket Watch Time. My name is Patrick W. And first things first, let me apologize for my somewhat froggy voice today. My little boy caught a cold like little boys do, and he lovingly shared it with the whole family. So it didn't take long. I caught it too. But the show must go on. And with that out of the way, you can now kind of see what this little device from Etsy is. This little independent maker makes an adapter that allows you to put a pocket watch on a wristwatch. There are definitely other companies out there that do this, like the Vortic Watch Co. and the Fretwork Watch Company. Great products, I'm definitely a fan. However, those products come at a pretty hefty price tag. I don't know exactly how much this cost. My wife's the one who found it on Etsy. I think she gave it to me as a Father's Day present. Father's Day was several months ago, and as you can tell, I'm just getting around to unboxing it and taking a peek. And not only are we looking at this device, but we're looking at something that I think you have to do to this device. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But that required me to buy a few extra things, including this interesting roll of, well, padding? So I'll see if I can find a link to the description and a post by the seller on Etsy. I'm not affiliated with this company in any single way. My wife bought this item at full sticker price, whatever that was. She obviously knows that I like pocket watches, and she knows that I like pocket watches that I can make into wristwatches. So with this interesting device, I don't have to limit what pocket watch I convert into a wristwatch. Technically, you can convert any pocket watch you want into a wristwatch any day of the week. But as you can see, with me adjusting this padding to fit the little metal bars of this pocket watch converter, you'll see what I consider a pretty big design flaw. Who in their right mind is going to put a pocket watch with a delicate case inside a holder that has metal teeth? That's just dumb. So in order to make this useful, I actually found this pretty inexpensive padded sticker on Amazon.com, and I'm going to line the bottom of this device and the teeth with this padding. Once the padding is properly installed, the delicate pocket watch should be insulated from any harm. So the first step, well, kind of a construction project. So I'm just going to loosen up all of these screws. I'm going to install a little padding onto each one of these little arms, and frankly, just put the watch together. I also went on Amazon.com and bought a relatively inexpensive strap. I kind of like the fact that the person who created this little device doesn't include their own strap. I'd much rather spend a couple bucks and go buy my own, make sure the color is what I want it to be, make sure the style is what I want it to be. Plus, me buying it on Amazon is probably cheaper than what they would have charged me for it. So definitely not a negative to the company for not including a strap. But you're not getting off that easy, company. I'm still mad at you for not putting some insulation or some padding on this device. Once again, that's just dumb. So let me introduce the pocket watch we're going to be using today. Is this a fancy pocket watch? Nope. Is this case a fancy case? Nope. This is just a 1920s era Waltham pocket watch with a metal dial. It's in a gold filled case. All in all, this watch probably costs about 200 bucks, maybe 300 bucks on a good day. Absolutely the perfect watch to test out this little device. If I missed a spot and I scratch up this case or damage this watch, well, I'm not really that sad. It's not an awful pocket watch. Let's take a look at it. So this is a pretty classic 12 size pocket watch. It's not highly jeweled, but it's got a good set of probably about 15 jewels. It has a relatively plain damaskining, but it still shines pretty nice in the light. So let's wind it up a little bit and see it run. I give it a little bit of a shake and there it goes. So this is the perfect little watch to be the guinea pig in our project today. Nice enough to make a wristwatch for the day, but not so nice that if I damage anything that I'm really too concerned. So let's close up the watch and well, let's build a wristwatch. So now's the time to install the strap. There's no trick to this. This rather inexpensive strap I found on Amazon was probably about 20 bucks. 
It's got quick release spring bars, so you just snap them in and you're ready to go. With the strap secure, I can put it on the wrist here, just see sort of what the general shape of the watch will be. It's going to wear big, but at least this device is nice and flat. So now we install the little arms to hold the pocket watch. First time I'm just going to put them on kind of generally loose, because obviously once I put the pocket watch on it, I'm going to have to adjust it to make it fit just right. Putting the pocket watch on the holder, just to get an estimate. My initial guess of size, well, it wasn't that bad. I'll probably adjust it up just a little bit, but let's put on those extra arms. So now we finally have all the arms on, time to look at the watch, check it out for real. There's definitely nothing subtle about this watch. It sort of looks like a classic trench watch on steroids. For those of you who don't know, a trench watch is what they did in the old fashioned days when they took a pocket watch, which was common, and they attached it to a strap. Usually they welded on some lugs. In a way, that's kind of what this is. They're not really welded on lugs, but instead they're form-fitted, adjustable lugs. So as you can see here, if I didn't put this padding on, this pocket watch definitely would have rubbed in some places that would not be good for the watch. So if you have any interest in a product like this, please do not put your pocket watch bare on that device. Unless different brands out there make a device that actually has padding, please add your own padding. As you can see, it's a pretty easy thing to do. It just takes an Amazon search and a little bit of patience. I'll actually include links to the Amazon purchases I made too. I do have to say, I'm actually quite surprised how stable this feels. When holding the device in my hand, it didn't really feel like these arms had a very big bend to them. It kind of made me feel like the pocket watch wouldn't be very sturdy in there. But it actually is. I'm guessing the addition of my grip or that padding kind of helped. It's not like I'm really shaking this watch around, but I definitely feel like this watch is really stuck on there. And that's good. So I guess I actually have to give the creators of this product a pretty good design. So the design, great. The production quality, actually pretty good. I really didn't have any problems with any of the screws or with any of the fitment of the device. It fits a 24 millimeter strap perfectly. The adjustability is actually really simple. The tolerances are good. And as I said before, it just feels sturdy. But I think now for the third time I'll say it, a shining defect. This pocket watch holder needs some pads. But now that I know this little holder can hold a pocket watch sturdy, and with the addition of my pads, I now know that it won't damage the watch. I look forward to tinkering with it and putting some other watches in there. And of course, that allows me to wear it. So keep an eye on my Instagram. You might see a picture of me wearing this device with a different pocket watch on it. And since it's so easy to change, you might see me with pictures of multiple pocket watches on it. Well, thanks for joining me in this little review of this weird pocket watch holder, going through the steps of the production, and adding some very much needed padding to make this thing pocket watch safe. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. All that interaction helps the YouTube algorithm and supposedly helps the channel grow. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to Pocket Watch Time. Pocket Watch Time. I have lots of reviews on watches and on pocket watches. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.